The Midland County Horseshoe is once again the center of heated debate between county commissioners. During yesterday's meeting, they talked about the Horseshoe's contract and budget. Now it appears lines have been drawn in the sand. Dana Morris joins us with more. Well, earlier today I spoke with County Judge Terry Johnson, who's fired up on this issue, and I also spoke with Commissioner Scott Ramsey, who acts as the liaison for the Midland County Commissioner's Court to the Midland County Horseshoe, and simply stated these guys just don't see eye to eye when it comes to the horseshoe. So what does that mean for the future of this venue? Well, let's take a look. As the Midland County Horseshoe continues to serve as the county's premier event center, it also continues to be a hot topic in meetings of the Commissioner's Court. The latest spar a series of disagreements of the venue's contract and budget. In his duty to prepare the initial submission for county budget, Terry Johnson cut or reduced four line items of the county horseshoe, including travel and marketing. But a majority of commissioners ruled to put those items back in. Though in the county's contract with horseshoe management, it was the county judge who had the final say, well, up until yesterday. What was put on the agenda by C Commissioner of Precinct 1 for yesterday's court was to change the wording from county judge to commissioner's court. This item passing with a 3-2 to two vote of Ramsey, Donnelly, and Prude in favor, and immediately following that was the addition of those four line items back into the horseshoe's budget, which passed with another 3-2 to two vote. It's just a slap in the face of, ta of Midland County taxpayers. That's all it is. Scott Ramsey disagrees. I spoke with him while traveling today, and he says there's nothing wrong with the previously agreed contract that has been in place for the horseshoe, and that the majority of commissioners voting in favor spoke for itself. Terry Johnson disagrees, and in turn, wanted to have a third party attorney look over the contract, another agenda item he added. In this deal, you've got Four commissioners who have an interpretation. You have a county judge who has an interpretation. You have a county attorney who has an uh, interpretation. You have a manager who has. I just wanted to get everybody on the same page. That was also voted down in a three to two vote. Johnson also expressed worry that the horseshoes management could be out of line with state law in its concert booking process. He gives incentives for uh, profit making concert promoters to come use the facility and that's against state law. Though Ramsey also spoke to this and said nothing is out of line with state law, there are no kickbacks, and rather there's a process in place to offset the cost of rentals, incentivizing better talent to visit Midland County. Now let's go ahead and finish up with a statement from County Judge Terry Johnson. He tells me he's got two years left in his current term, then plans to run for re-election, and says that he will continue to fight against what he sees as incorrect in the Midland County Horseshoe contract for as long as he possibly can. Reporting in Midland County, Dana Morris, News West 9.